Hey guys, welcome to another Weston installation video. I'm Cameron and today we're gonna to be installing our R5 modular wheel to wheel step bar on this 2020 Chevy Silverado 2500 HG. Now this is a crew cab with a six and a half foot bed and we do offer other part numbers for different bed lengths. So why don't we go ahead and open this box up. I'll show you the packaging and talk about some of the features. Now that we've gotten the step bars and all the brackets and hardware taken out of the box, let's go ahead and clear all this stuff off because the first step we need to do is actually assemble the step bars together and then we can get them mounted up. So this is a modular kit, which means the step bar needs to be assembled together before we put it on the truck. So what we have here is we have our tall uh, reinforcement link, our short reinforcement link, the link plate, and the step pad that goes on top to cover everything up. So let's go ahead and put these together. We'll take the tall reinforcement plate and we will slide that into the taller part of the step bar in the back. Then we'll take the short reinforcement plate and we will slide that into the shorter end of the step bar here. Now you wanna take the other end of the step bar. We're gonna line all that up together. Like so. Okay, now you're gonna take your step pad and install that on the top part of the step bar. So this is gonna line up with the corresponding holes in the step bar. Once we get that put on there, then we'll flip it back over and put the nuts on the step pad. All right, let's flip it back over. With the pad on the step bar, we can now go ahead and take the self-threading nuts and attach them to all the posts. Go ahead and tighten them down until you feel them get snug to the metal and then you're good to go. All right, so now we'll go ahead and put on the link plate which is gonna join both step bars together. This will be attached using the black M6 hardware that's included in your kit. Also, make sure that the lip of the link plate is facing towards the inside of the step bar towards the vehicle. And you don't have to worry about tightening down any of this hardware at this time. You can go ahead and leave it hand tightened. We'll go ahead and torque everything up when everything's installed. All right, so now that we've got the step bar fully assembled, now it's time to go ahead and get this mounted on the truck. So before we go ahead and mount the bar to the vehicle, I wanted to take a minute and talk about Weston's exclusive isolator brackets. So these are the most rearward bracket on the step bar, and the top portion will actually mount to the vehicle's bed. The bottom portion is what mounts to the bar, and in between they're separated with these two rubber isolators. So basically what this is gonna eliminate is any creaking or popping noises that you might hear from the back of the bed as it flexes. All right, so now that we're here underneath the vehicle, we can go ahead and lay out all of our brackets we're gonna to need to install the bar on the driver's side. Then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and find all the threaded holes on the rocker panel where the brackets are gonna mount and use the hardware that's included in the kit to mount them. All right, so now that we got all four of the mounting brackets installed on the cab, now we can work on installing the isolator bracket. So we're gonna wanna remove these two factory bolts here and that, save those bolts, because that's what we're gonna use to mount the top part of the isolator bracket. Can then go ahead and take the top part of the isolator bracket and put it in between the bed and the factory bracket. and then use the factory fasteners to attach it. So now that we have the top part of the isolator bracket attached to the vehicle, we can then take the lower part of the isolator bracket along with the rubber bushings and attach them to the top. Go ahead and leave everything loosely attached at this time because once we're done installing the bars fully, then we'll go ahead and torque all the fasteners down. All right, so now that we have all the mounting brackets installed on the vehicle, I wanted to take a minute and talk about another pretty cool feature about this step bar. These are our bracket covers. They come included in the kit along with all the hardware to mount them, and they slide over your bracket like so, 
to go ahead and give it a nice finished clean look instead of seeing the bracket hanging out. So let's go ahead and install this one. We'll install the rest of them and then we can get the bar mounted. So a helpful hint when installing these step bars is the center bracket is actually the only one that is not gonna install with a bolt plate. You're gonna use uh, two bolts that are included with your kit and you're gonna attach the bracket to the link plate that was previously installed on the step bar. All right, so now we can go ahead and use the bolt plates to install the step bar to the rest of the mounting brackets. All right, so now that we've gotten the step bar installed onto the brackets, the installation is pretty much done. So now go ahead and take your torque wrench and go through and torque all the fasteners to the specs shown in your installation sheet. All right, so now that we've gotten the driver's side step bar installed, now we can go ahead and move over to the passenger side and get it finished up. gotten the driver and the passenger side fully installed this installation is now complete so for any information about these or any of our other products go ahead and visit westonautomotive.com